Hello everyone, I'm NGC, and today's video, I'm going to be talking about all the movies I watched in 2023. Happy New Year's to all of you guys, I hope you have an amazing 2024. And since this is my first video of 2024, I'm going to be talking to you about all the movies I watched in 2023 for you guys. I just want to share my opinions on all the movies I watched in 2023 since I watched a lot of movies and overall the year for movies was actually pretty good. I didn't hate any movies in 2023. Sure, there were some decent ones and kind of downfall ones, but I still didn't hate them. I still pretty much enjoyed them, I'm going to be honest. But anyway, so obviously I'm going to be doing this for like the video games. Like I'm going to be doing this video for video games and SML videos. But for now, I want to start off the year with movies. But as always, these are my opinions. So if you disagree with me, that's fine. But with all of that out of the way, let's begin. Yes, the first movie I watched in 2023 is the Super Mario Bros. movie. And honestly... I enjoyed this movie. Like it's a video game movie adaptation, and it's been hyped enough for over a year, and it didn't disappoint. Definitely, the only problems I really have with the movie is that sure the plot is predictable, and Luigi was barely in this movie. And for those who don't know, Luigi is my favorite Mario character, so it was a little disappointing to see him not have a major role in this movie. His scenes were still good, by the way. But anyway, on to the positives. I really like the pacing in this movie. It was pretty good. I want the animation itself being great. And the voice actors didn't do a bad job. Especially Black Jack as Bowser. And the, like, the whole plot was really good. So overall, this movie was pretty good. Alright, next up we have Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Please don't disagree with me when I say that this movie is just better than the Mario movie. Okay, hear me out, hear me out, wait, 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 don't unsubscribe, I just want to explain. Still, I enjoyed the movie, the only negative I really have with the movie is the ending where it leaves you on a cliffhanger. I know it wants to set up another movie, maybe this year, but still, like, ending on a cliffhanger after so many things happening isn't like the call, but I still enjoyed this movie. Like, there was a lot of funny moments in the movie, and I really enjoyed the animation itself. The animation is so good, and nothing really can compare to this animation. And the characters were really funny in this movie, particularly Miles. Overall, this was a fantastic film. So, if I'm going to be honest, the last few Pixar movies were kind of... Alright, like they weren't too special, but they'll just exist. But this one was actually pretty good for once. I won't say it's the best movie ever or the best Pixar movie ever, but I enjoyed this movie. Like it was actually pretty good. Like, w like the whole like like what fire, water, clouds, like air and like earth team was pretty good. The characters were decent. Like the only character I really funny enjoyed was like Wade. Sure, it's kind of similar to Tony Red and Ruka with the whole water team and deceiving your parents team got old, but I still enjoyed this movie. Like it was a pretty sad film. Okay, so this might shock you guys, but I'm not familiar with New Ninja Turtles. Like my like don't get me wrong, like, it sounds good, but I've never watched Mutant Ninja Turtles before, but this movie was pretty good, even though I really didn't get it. But all of the turtles were pretty good in this movie, the characters were great, and the whole side plot with Max was pretty good, I think that's her name, I don't really know. But overall, like, the animation was good itself, the battles were pretty good, and that beginning was actually really enjoyable. Also, the Mr. Beast cameo in this movie was pretty funny. Overall, this is a pretty good movie. Okay, Monomia. I'm gonna be honest, this movie's kind of worse compared to all the other movies on this list so far, but, like, I didn't hate the movie, it was still pretty good, but, like, there's a lot of weird moments, including the ending where, like, the guy and the guy are... I just watched the movie and see, but, like, so I enjoyed the plot for itself, like, the backstory with Monomia was pretty good, and the characters were really great. The beginning really set up the movie, and the plot was like, it was a very unique plot, I got admit. Overall, this is a pretty good film, but just not as good as the other movies on this list so far. Yep, I knew I had to talk about this movie again. I already made a review on this movie, and you should go check that out, but 
I still found this movie to be decent, I guess. Like, sure, the animatronic designs are good, the music in this really swapped, and all of the deaths were really good, and the ending with William Afton, the Spring Rock scene, was really clever with Scott Coffin in it. But, and I like the YouTuber cameos in this movie. The problem with the movie is that they don't really focus on the plot. Like, they focus a bit on the world, but like, they put in a lot of like things that weren't in the original game. Like, they didn't really do anything with the animatronics trying to hunt and kill Mike. And Vanessa being in this movie was kind of confusing since she wasn't in the FNAF game. She was in Security Bridge, but I don't hate the movie. Like, it was still pretty good. If there is going to be a sequel, I might watch it, but after that, I think they should just leave it be, since we didn't, we don't really need a whole franchise on the FNAF movies, but this one was decent, I guess. Like, overall, this is just a decent movie. Good parody, I guess. Well, another year, and another Diver Whip became movie. This one was... Pretty good, honestly. Like, I'm not, I'm definitely not gonna like put it as like better than the live action movies because the animations will never be as good as the live action movies, except for the one hole. But overall, I still found this movie to be better than all of the animated movies we had so far. Like, the whole, even though they changed the plot with Kevin Fever and it kind of got born in the second half, I still enjoyed the movie. Like, the characters were good as always. The, Plot was kind of interesting, and there are a lot of good moments where you should appreciate your family and stuff. Overall, pretty good Christmas special, I'm not gonna lie. Chicken Run 2. Honestly, if I'm gonna be honest, this movie I was the most hyped for since last year or in 2022. I watched the like. Like, I think the first movie in January, I think. And I found it really good. And now that there's a sequel out, I was actually so excited for this movie. And it's the river. Like, it's definitely not as good as the sequel. Like, it's like the sequel is definitely not as good as the first movie. But I still enjoyed it. Like, the characters were good as always. Even Mrs. Trudy coming back with her actor. Like, coming back to voice her. And the characters were really good. Sure, they did change the voice actors, I will admit. And, like... No, it's kind of the same movie as like the f first movie, but I still didn't hate this movie. I still really enjoyed this movie. Okay, Leo. This is a movie I did not expect to watch, but I decided to watch indeed. And I thought this was going to be a bad movie, but it actually surprised me. Like the actual like, movie was really good. Like I liked all the characters in this movie, and well, it teaches you a valuable lesson of you should enjoy teens while it lasts because they don't last forever. I really enjoyed that kind of concept. And Rio was pretty good in this movie along with his friend Toto. Like that was good. Sure he did kind of betray Rio but he did work it out in the end along with the teacher. But the teacher was actually pretty funny. Overall this is a surprising movie that was actually pretty good. And finally the last movie I watched of 2023 Wonka. Honestly, I thought this was just going to be another remake of, like, the original Wonka movies. They were pretty good, but I didn't really, like, feel like watching a remake. But I decided to watch it anyway, but this is actually not a remake. It's actually a backstory of Wonka. And I really enjoyed this movie. Like, all the characters with Wonka were really good. The villains were actually pretty funny. There's a lot of songs in this movie, and I pretty much enjoyed all of them. I will say the only negative we really have with this movie is that I wish Wonka was like had more with his chocolate factory and there were more Oompa Loompas, but the movie was still pretty good. It reminds me of Paddington and Mr. Bean with all the cameos they made in this movie. Like the music like really reminded me of Paddington when I watched with my family and the movie was pretty good. Like people are not gonna disagree with me, but like people are definitely gonna disagree with me. But this movie's actually the best movie I watched in twenty twenty three. I know it's that high, but it's just my opinion. Anyway, those are all the movies I watch in 2023. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you all next time. And Happy New Year's to all of you guys.